Hi, thank you for joining us. Today we're going to show you how to add an additional dashboard view to your NetSuite instance. This might be particularly useful if you run out of screen real estate, or if, for example, you wanted to add additional dashboards for various departments. As you can see in this demo account, we have a standard dashboard with various information such as reminders, key performance indicators, and a chart for weekly sales orders. But to add an additional dashboard, the first thing you're going to need to do is create what they consider a center tab. So if you go to Setup, Customization, and down to Center Tabs, you'll be able to add an additional piece of information that will display just to the right of Setup and just to the left of Support, in this particular case, on this particular center. We're not going to go into details about what centers are and how to create those, but nonetheless, we'll assign it to the Classic Center in this instance. So once we create that Custom Center tab, we'll create, obviously define a name for it for Customer Service, and we'll assign it to the Classic Center. Once we've done that, the additional things that we would need to do to set this up would be to create things like the various portlets or content that are available to it. Okay, we'll click on the sublist that exists for portlet, and we'll define a couple different things, primarily the key performance indicators, because we're looking for metrics that need to be displayed. And then we'll also add three different custom searches to the system, which will essentially will render additional detailed list of information for the various cases, in this case, customer service cases that we want to display. So we're going to add all three of those and add those to the particular portlet sublist down below. You can, of course, show these by default, and that's the default within NetSuite, but we're going to actually remove these from the initial view only because we want to personalize it and show you how to get to that information like you might on a standard dashboard. So we're going to unclick the show boxes on the far right, and we're going to hit add, and we're actually going to go over to the audience tab, and at this point we're going to find the audience in the system that we might want to publish this to. Whether it be roles or groups or anything else at this point, you can define that there on the audience tab. We're going to leave it to all roles and hit save. Once we do that, we're going to go back to the home page just to clear some browser caching issues. And we're going to refresh that page once again. And once you do that, you might notice in the top right hand corner, you now have an additional tab called customer service. We'll go ahead and click on that. And because we didn't show those particular portlet views by default, we have a blank slate. So what we're going to do is go over on the right hand side and click on personalized dashboard. And we'll add the various pieces of content to the blank slate of this new dashboard, and that includes the key performance indicators and three custom searches. We'll also, just to show you at this point, we'll show you adding a graph on the system just like you would do for a standard dashboard, and we'll scroll all the way down to the new case report, or the new case graph, I should say, and we'll add that to the particular view. We'll go ahead and close the Add Content window. We're going to reorganize this just a little bit, just so we can obviously show you the uh, information at the top first and the, and the graph at the bottom. So just like on the standard dashboard, we can rearrange that. Now we'll go in and we'll set up the various portlet information that we would uh, want to display. In this case, the key performance indicators would be things like standard KPIs, such as cases closed or various other information such as new cases that might exist. So we'll scroll down and all the available contents available to you at this point, just like it is on the standard dashboard. We're going to add standard KPIs, and then just like on the standard dashboard, we're going to go in and add some custom KPIs. In this bigger case, these are all done via save search. We're not going to go into the details on how to create those, but that's for another webinar. Nonetheless, we're going to add three existing ones, such as cases escalated, cases in progress, and cases unassigned to this key performance indicator portlet. Once we do that, we're going to go into the each individual custom search to set that up. Now, while we're setting those up for the custom searches, it's interesting to note that in this particular case, the customer service is the primary information that we're trying to display. But if we wanted to actually create an additional tab that might just be, say, for example, dashboards, and then break it out by department, we could also do that as well. What you'd want to look for and help or go through the particular setup is for center categories, which will essentially allow you to do drop-down menus within that particular tab. We didn't do that for this particular example because we have a single content dashboard such as customer service, but if you had multiple metrics or multiple dashboards you needed to be created, that center categories are an ideal way to do so. So we'll go ahead and finish off these searches at this point, and now you can see that I've got cases unassigned, I've got cases in progress, I've got cases escalated directly there on this particular view.
Okay, makes it for an easy way for somebody running an organization to get to a particular departmental metrics in the system and easily find out what's going on for, with that particular department. Custom tabs and custom dashboards are a very powerful way within NetSuite to view your information simply and straightforward.